Hey everyone, so I hope that you will enjoy this look. This is my mega inspired look and it's part of my new Disney series. I'm going to Disney in March and I am really excited for it. It's my last time going to Disney before I go off to college. So I'm going with a bunch of friends, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I decided to do Meg because I don't think she gets enough credit. She's my favorite Disney character. She's super sassy and just fun and I think she's great. So yeah, I did this really fun purple look, if you can see here, um, with this plum lip. And if you wanna see a tutorial on this hair, it was really super easy. I have really thin hair, so this um, look didn't take me long at all. I have my little Greek inspired headband on. And yeah, so check out this video and my Snow White inspired video. And I'll have another one coming up for you guys really soon. So I hope you like it and let's get started. So to start off the look, we're going to start by priming our eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the primer potion I've been using for a really long time now, and it always keeps my shadows from creasing and makes the colors much more pigmented than they originally are. So I really love this product, and it's a tried and true for me. Now I'm going to be taking this lavender colored pigment that I got on Amazon and you can get these really really cheap in a 12 pack so I'm just going to take this synthetic shader brush and put a little in the cap and apply just press this onto our lid to make sure that the color is super pigmented and just on the inner half of the lid because we're going to be adding some other colors to the lid in a little bit Now taking my trusty Sephora Breast Cancer Awareness Palette, I'm taking this bronzy shimmery color here and applying it to the outside of my lid. I thought this color was, a, um, you see a lot of it in the movie. It's in Hercules' outfit and on Meg's sandals and accessories. So I just figured that would be the perfect color to pair with this purple. And I'm just blending it out with that same flat shader brush so that it's really seamless. Taking a clean angled brush, I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges going in my crease. I'm taking a lighter bronze color, I'm going to apply that with the same brush to my crease to blend everything together and have a nice transition into our highlight. For this look, I already had my foundation and brows done, so if you want to see how I kind of do that, watch my Snow White tutorial. Now with another angled fluffy brush, I'm taking this white out of the same Sephora palette and applying that underneath my brows. Meg is pretty highlighted and very bright and shimmery looking, in my opinion, so I'm putting that underneath my brows. Taking this color tattoo by iStudio from Maybelline and a gel liner brush, I'm just going to take this painted purple and put it on my eyelash line. I'm not doing a wing or anything crazy here. I'm just applying it like I would a normal liner. And while I was doing this, I thought that if I had like a sparkly gold liquid eyeshadow, it would be perfect, but I don't have one. So if you want to add any sort of extra glitter or sparkle, feel free to do that, but I didn't have that. So just make sure that you filled in that line really well. And now we're going to move on to the rest of our liner. I am taking this white coal eyeliner that I got for I think a dollar or so at Walmart and just applying that to my waterline to make my eyes look bright and awake. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes with my favorite eyelash curler which is from Forever 21. It's a great curler and it's holding up really well. And taking my favorite mascara, which is my Calvin Klein CK1 mascara I got from Ulta with the adjustable brush. I'm just going to apply a coat of that to my lashes. The nice thing about the adjustable brush is that you can make it shorter or longer. So depending on your eye shape or if you're trying to make your lashes look more fanned out or even doing your bottom lashes, I usually make it smaller because it just fits the lash line much better. So I'm taking this Great Lash Pop of Purple Limited Edition Mascara. I'm going to just paint this onto the very tips of my lashes so that it adds a little bit of an ombre kind of look to your lashes and it's just really fun. 
and it's a great pop of color. So I'm taking this CoverGirl Liquid Blast eyeliner in Plum and adding it onto my lash line. So now we're going to contour with this Hard Candy Baked Bronzer and this brush that I got with my Bella Bomba blush and we're just going to carve out our face so that you get that really pointy look that Meg has. I didn't contour my jaw, but if you want to contour your jaw, it would probably make it look more like Meg. I forgot to do that step, but I am just contouring my chin and my nose and my temples. Now we're going to use some concealer and just apply this under our eyes to make sure that we have all of our dark circles co covered up. I love this Physicians Formula concealer. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, it's very thick and full coverage and covers just about everything you want it to. So I'm just stippling this on with a normal sponge. Now I'm taking this Girl Meets Pearl liquid highlighter and applying that under my eyes as well just to brighten up our eyes even more and give us that really bronzy, shimmery, sun-kissed look that Meg seems to have. So I'm just applying that all over my face. And now we're going to take our blush in Bella Bomba and a tapered blush brush and I am applying that all over the apples of my cheeks. And applying this to my forehead too to add a little bit of extra dimension and a little bit of shimmer everywhere all over my face. Next, we're going to take this lipstick in Shy from Clinique, and I know that it looks like a really vampy color, but it's actually pretty sheer, and I'm just applying this all over my lips, and I don't have a liner that matches this, but it doesn't really feather out. And taking this Clinique Liquid Lip Gloss in Sugar Plum, or number 17, I'm just applying this all over my lips, and it's super shimmery. So that's it for the Meg look. If you want to see a tutorial on this hair, let me know down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And thanks for watching. Bye.